everyone. Welcome to my channel. So today I have another edition of Subscription Box Sunday and have some fun boxes to share with you guys. So first we have the Fruit for Thought box for June 2021. I think this one might be raspberry themed. Then we have the Fenty Beauty collection for June and the Touch of New England box, which I believe is also for June. And this is new on my channel. And I have an Irish at Heart box to share with you guys. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do lots of different subscription box unboxing videos here. And on Sundays, I like to unbox multiples at once so you can see lots in the same video. So if you're a sub box lover like me, go ahead and subscribe and join the sub box lover family. And let's get into the boxes. There will be a giveaway in this video, so stay till the end to get the details. All right, so first we do have the Fruit for Thought box. This is for June, and it does look like the theme is red raspberry, so I was correct. This box comes every single month, and I would kind of consider it a lifestyle subscription, meaning you get lots of different products from food, home decor, beauty, all that kind of fun stuff inside. And this box is $39.95 a month. Um, I do have a coupon code down below where you can get 10% off your first box. I did not pay for this box. It was sent to me free for review. Now, this month's theme is red raspberry. The themes each month are based on food or fruit related items. So July's theme is mango tango, which sounds super fun. If you go to their website, you can see, I think a couple different months further out of what the different themes will be. But I'm super excited to get inside because I love raspberries. So this is gonna be fun. This box already smells really good. And the first thing that I'm pulling out is a bar of soap. This is by the Dallas Soap Company. This is their sweet and tart raspberry and creamy vanilla loofah soap, which is perfect for exfoliating and leaving your skin beautifully glowing. So as you see, there's a loofah inside, so it does help exfoliate. Oh, it smells really nice. Oh, you get the raspberry, that like fruitiness, the sweetness from the vanilla, that smells so nice. And then again, you see that loofah inside that will help exfoliate the skin. So mm, very, very nice start. Ooh, okay, the next thing out kind of goes alongside with it. This is from Finchberry, and this is their Pretty Pastel Terrazzo Ceramic Soap Dish in Berry Colors. Um, so you can put your little soap on top of this. It does have the gold rim to it, um, and I think it's purple, pink, and blue little speckles inside. Um, I think you could use this, if you don't wanna use this as a soap dish, you could probably put like little jewelry. This could be a little trinket tray. So that is very, very cute, and the pink color goes along with the little speckles there. So this is such a cute little set. Then I see some food so i'm very excited about this this is raspberry cave cookies cave cookies um i don't know what are cave cookies <laughs> these are yummy buttery rich shortbread cookies that are filled with sweet and tart raspberry jam baked um, in una bakery these look very very good so i'll definitely be eating these later okay this i love 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 this this is such a useful item so this is their a colander basically a gripper colander is what this is called by Architect. It's one quart or one liter. And this is so you can rinse your berries in it. Um, this is awesome. On the bottom, it's, a, it's called a gripper because it does have like a silicone bottom there so it won't move around. This is perfect because I have a lot of colanders that are big, but when you just have like a little tub of berries, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, whatever it may be, this is the perfect size colander. This feels very, very nice quality. So I'm actually super excited. We tend to sometimes get items like this that are so useful and practical and I'm all about that practical life. So very excited about this. Ooh, okay. So this is exciting. This is from Classic Farmhouse Candles and these are raspberry scented wax melts. So in the April box, if you got the April box, they have had a cast iron pan wax melter that they sent, um, which I'm loving and I still have the peach wax to use, but you now have this or you could use this in absolutely any wax melt thing that you have. You can still get one of their, um, if you didn't get that box, it's showing that you can still get it from their Create Joy shop if you just wanna get that, but ooh. <gasps> these smell really, really good. They're shaped like little raspberries. I don't know if you can tell or if you don't have the cast iron wax melter in a rec another box we got like the happy wax melter the one that you plug in the wall and you can definitely put these in there as well so i'm super excited i love like these fruity scented wax melts so i'm super excited to have more and this is three ounces worth Ooh, uh, this is exciting so the next thing is from oliver pluff and co and this is tea you can enjoy a pitcher of ice cold fresh brewed raspberry iced tea this is a black tea, so this will have caffeine in it. So I'm not a big caffeine person, but ice cold raspberry tea sounds absolutely incredible right now. I'm kind of thirsty, but I don't know. I'll drink after I film. I don't know, but this looks so, so good. So this um, packet brews one gallon of tea. 
<laughs> oh, okay. This is the way to my heart. This is from Pennsylvania Dutch Candies. These are their gummy red and black berries. I love these kind of gummies. This sounds so good. Haribo makes some like this. I mean, I love the red ones over the black ones, but I like the black ones too. I'm very, very excited about this. Um, and when Rachel sees these, my sister, she's gonna be jealous of them. So I probably have to share with her, but yay, that is so exciting. So that is everything inside of the June Red Raspberry themed box. I thought that this was so cute. I love that. I think I'm most excited about the colander and the gummies and the wax melts, but I love everything. And I thought this was a really fun box. So I'm curious to see about the mango theme next month. And again, I do have a 10% off coupon code below. All right, next, let's jump into the Savage X Fenty VIP collection for June. So I recently did a Fenty, or did I say Fenty Beauty? It's Savage X Fenty, different things, um, both by Rihanna. But so I did a haul of products that I bought from Savage X Fenty a couple weeks ago or a week ago. So definitely check that out if you missed it. But I've gone ahead and signed up through their subscription through that. Um, and the way it works is you um, get money for lingerie each month. So between like the first and the sixth, you can either purchase something, skip the month, or you let it ride out. So if you purchase something and you have to spend more than $50, they won't bill you. If you don't spend any money, they will bill you on the 7th, I think it is. It's either the 6th or the 7th. Their website will have more details, $49.95 a month. And you can use that to buy anything on their site. So it's credit. You can also go in and choose to skip the month as well. So if you don't want to be charged for the month, you do act have to actively go in and skip. So each month they have like a new theme. Basically, you can decide if you want to buy that VIP box or not. And then if you don't, um, then you need to decide whether or not you want to get something else that month. And, and go from there. So this month was pride themed and I went ahead and got the set. I'll be honest, I don't like love, love, love the set, but I just wanted to have the experience of the subscription and I thought this stuff was cute. So I got their pride set, like the VIP box. Now there's a full collection of other stuff you could have gotten. So like this came with a bralette, panties and a boxer set, but they had like a garter belt. I think they had a whip as well. Like they have like other things that match the whole set. So you can get like a whole matching set. So I guess I should preface this to say this is a lingerie subscription. So a little bit more uh, PG or PG 13 than my normal content on the channel. You'll feel free to skip forward to the next box. If you're not into this, I do leave the timestamps down below in the subscription box Sunday videos. All right, so we'll go ahead and start off with a bralette. I'm not gonna try anything on in the video, but I have tried it all on and it fits really nicely and is super cute. So the first thing is this little bralette. It has little rainbows on it. Now there was an actual bra that you could have gotten and I would have rather gotten the bra, but it did not come in the VIP set. And it would have been like, if I had bought all these things individually, it would have cost way more money than the box. So I figured like this, the cheapest way is to get the stuff in the box. So it's a little bralette. It doesn't have any clasp in the back. So there's no like, you just like put it on basically. There's no clasp or anything. It does have boning on the sides, which I found interesting. I'm not really sure why that boning is there. Now this set was meant to be gender neutral in theme of pride so that this could work for anybody depending on what they identify as um, gender wise or sexuality wise. So I don't know if that's why they put this boning rib in there or not. I think that's why there's the boxers and everything and why this is not like a full on bra because then if somebody does not have like breasts, they could wear this as well. So I think that's why this was part of the set versus the bra, but I thought the bra was kind of cuter. And there was a garter belt that went with it that was super cute, but like the garter belt was like $30 alone versus getting this whole set for 50. So I just went with this set, but maybe if they have a sale in the future, I'll grab that. But I thought it was cute. The back is just regular black mesh. It fits really, really nicely. Um, like I talked about in my previous video, it does have some stitching and stuff to kind of hug everything in the right place. Um, I got everything in a size small. I am an itty bitty titty committee crew member and this worked really, really nicely for me. They do have it in plus sizes as well. So I don't know if the plus size version, like I don't know if there's more support in that one or not because normally you would probably need more support in that one. So I'm not totally sure on that. And maybe I'll show the design like up close so you can see. So there's like actual stitching and writing in some of it and rainbows and hearts. It's very, very cute. Then to go with that, there are matching panties. I clearly have not taken the tags off yet. So the front has that cute little rainbow design to match. And then the black, the black, <laughs> the back is just plain black mesh, super cute. Just string on the side. I thought the set was very, very cute. Again, I like the other bra better, but 
it was not as you save money if you get the VIP box essentially and I was like well I'm just I'm not gonna spend extra money I don't need <laughs> I don't need all of that like if I'm already spending 50 I don't need all of that and then you get a pair of boxers these were really really cute on they kind of it fit like boxer shorts um, this area um, does not open like a men's one, like a typical men's underwear one normally would. So there's complete closure there. Um, so as a female, you can wear this and not have like a random pocket in your crotch essentially. Um, but these are so soft. I don't, I think these must be cotton. Are they cotton? They're 57% cotton and they are 38% modal and 8% elastane. But these feel very, very nice. They seem very breathable, which is important. And they have the cute little, you know, rainbow Savage X Fenty logo. So I thought they were really cute. Um, you can, you know, wear the bralette with these or you can wear these totally separately. Or, you know, you can pick the sizes for the individual things. So if you, if you like got the set and knew that you wanted this for yourself, you could have like picked this in a different size and maybe given it to your significant other if you don't want to wear the boxers or whatever, um, but you still wanted the set. So like I said, there were other things in the collection that you could have received, um, but that's what I, I just chose to go with the theme since it's my first time getting it and I am sharing the subscription with you guys on the channel. Um, I mean, it's not like a regular subscription box because you can skip uh, it and you can just not choose the box and you can just go shop the website and do whatever you want. So we'll see whatever I decide to do next month for July. Um, I don't know if I'll pick the set again or if I'll just choose to shop or if I'll choose to skip. We shall see once they reveal it. All right, next I have the Touch of New England box. I'm thinking this is for June. Now this is a brand new box to my channel and was sent to me free for review, so I did not pay for it. I did pay for the Fenty one previously though. So this box sends you goods from New England each month made by small businesses. As you know, on my channel, I do like to support small businesses, small subscription boxes and boxes that really like try to push small businesses forward. So I think that this is a really, really awesome box to kind of try and show on the channel for you guys. Now it does support smaller businesses, like I said. So the price of it each month is $59 a month and you're supposed to get a hundred dollar value inside each box. And I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in signing up. So when you open it up, that's what it looks like. Lots of papers on top. So a lot of the papers are about, I think probably some of the brands inside but it looks like this is the nautical box. All right, so this month's theme is nautical and there's always five to six full size products inside the box. And sometimes they do also have a bonus item as well. Okay, so the very first thing I'm pulling out is this here by Mystic Knot Work. Um, in Connecticut. This is their Sailor Knot Coasters. Oh, these are coasters. For some reason, I thought this was like a whole thing, but no, these are coasters. Wow, these are really, really cool. Um, so these retail for $24. They're balanced, absorbent, unbreakable, washable, and handmade in the USA. It says protect your table as these absorb moisture without the drips. It's 100% cotton, dishwasher safe, and you lie fat, flat to dry. Oh, they're dishwasher safe. I would have never, I would have never thought. Okay, they're very, very cool. There are four of them and they are obviously in this pretty navy blue color. These are beautiful for summer, you know, like a nice blue color, a kind of nautical theme, but these are also very, very classy. So I really like those. Those are nice. Um, there's also a little brochure about nautical or mystic knot work here. And then they also have a sticker kind of, this is the pattern. It's hard to see these cause they're dark, right? But this is the pattern um, of the coasters. So that is very, very cool. I'm impressed. All right, the next thing out is this here. It has this cute little anchor pattern on there. This is by Big Wheels Press in Massachusetts, and this is their anchor log book. So it says a log book on the back. This retails for $5.50. So this is letterpress and hot foil stamped log book bound with the finest quality of Strathmore writing papers. Make your mark on the world, designed for daily use with all pens and pencils. Ooh, the paper feels very, very nice. As I've kind of brought up in um, previous videos, I used to work in a print shop and so you I can just oh, that feels very very nice paper it's I can used to be able to tell paperweight by just touching it I can't anymore but this feels like a very very nice it's kind of a, a heavier paper but it's not too heavy it feels very very soft and smooth I think this is a very very nice little notebook and it's cute for like little summer notes wow this next item is so cool this is by seapoint chandlers in maine this is their monkey's fist not beeswax candle which retails for 25 dollars. this is probably the nicest candle i have ever received 
It says these candles are perfect decor for those who love the nautical life. You can trim the wick to a fourth an inch before lighting and extinguish after three hours to allow the candle to rest. I don't even know if I can light this candle because it's such a nice candle. It smells very nice as well, like a natural kind of scent to it. It kind of has a little bit of an citrusy scent, but I think I could be making that up. But this is so, so nice. Ooh, this next thing smells so good. It smells minty and yummy. Ooh, okay. So this is by For Goodness Oils in New Hampshire, and this is their After Sun Spray, which retails for $10. It says, made with healing aloe and pure essential oils, this spray helps cool sunburns and prevent peeling skin. Soothe, cool, calm, and heal. You can keep it in the fridge for an extra cooling sensation. <gasps> it's two ounces. This is absolutely perfect for this time of year because this pale skin definitely will get burnt at some point. And oh, this smells like the best like peppermint minty smell you've ever smelled in your life. I wish there was smell-o-vision so you could smell it, but it smells like sweet and minty and yummy, so I, I wanna say I can't wait to use this. I hope I don't get burnt, but I mean, you don't. You should use it after sun either way, but this smells so nice, and I love it's in a little glass amber bottle. It does have a little spray nozzle as well. All right, so this is the next thing out of the box. This is by Soap & Water in Newport, Rhode Island. This is their Atlantic Sea Salt Triple Butter Bar Soap, which retails for $12. This fragrance is like a day trip to a day spa. Powerful yet soft, sea salt helps promote deep relaxation. It's made with three body butters, butters, <laughs> butters, butters, I can't talk. Lather, inhale, relax, cleanse, drift away. From, from what I can smell through the packaging, it does smell very nice and calming. It is definitely not a strong scent. So if you're somebody who has a hard time with scents, I think this, can, this candle, this is not a candle, this bar of soap, will be really, really nice for you. And I love the packaging. Ooh, the next thing out is really, really cute. This is by Baked Beads in Vermont. And I have family in Vermont, so I love Vermont. This is their Starfish Print Scarf, which retails for $36. It says, the Baked Beads collections are designed in Vermont by artists who embrace a more creative path in life. Share their passion, wrap yourself to keep warm on the high seas. So it's like a very thin, scarf. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a super thin kind of, you know, you could wear it like, um, like a scarf or you could wear it kind of like one of these shawl situations. Like if you're wearing a dress or something, or you could like do something with your hair. Okay. Not that <laughs> clearly, I don't know how to wear one of these, but this feels very soft and is very beautiful. I love it. Okay, then there were two different things that you could have received as the bonus. Um, so I got Lemon Bites. <laughs> the retail would be up to $10. The other thing you could have gotten was the Desktop Adventures set. So this one is from the Bites Company. Um, and then I don't know what the Desktop Adventures set would have looked like, but um, I am not mad about getting Lemon Bites, just little lemon cookies. So that is super exciting. Well, I'm gonna be honest. I'm actually really, really impressed with the box. I didn't really know what to expect. I know the price point is a little bit higher than some of the other boxes, but the quality of the goods you get, like, I mean, this is a very, very, very nice quality candle. This smells incredible. I mean, everything is awesome. The coasters. I thought this was a wonderful collection of products and I'm super excited um, to be able to share it with you guys. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Always love to hear what you guys have to say. All right, next let's jump into the Irish at Heart box. I do not know what month this box is. I'm thinking this might've been the St. Patrick's Day box that was sent to me, so a prior box. So Irish at Heart is a monthly subscription box where you get products from Ireland, essentially. If you sign up monthly, this box is $44 a month. You can also do a gift subscription as well. Um, they have some great gifting options. I do believe if you sign up for longer subscription periods, you might be able to get this cheaper. Now this was sent to me free for review, so I did not pay for the box. So each month you receive a curated theme of Irish goodness, creativity, and joy sent your way in the beautiful green box. It ships out at the beginning of the month with fully tracked shipping. Again, $44 a month per box. All right, so I think that um, this is the card that tells me about what's inside, and it does look like this is the St. Patrick's Day box. All right, so the first thing that I'm pulling out is from Kios, and this is Groma Love in Ireland. These are their mature Irish cheese and onion chips. So here it says a Patty's Day treat, handmade with love and shamrocks, the perfect snack for the day that it's in. Yummy, portable, shareable, and shamrocky from our favorite crisp maker, maker Kios. Okay, let me just open these up and have a taste. All right, Rachel heard me open the bag, so she's here and she's <laughs> gonna try with me. So we're gonna try these chips. You can definitely taste the cheese and the onion. I thought they had great flavor. They're salted really nicely. They're kind of like a kettle chip consistency. Mm -hmm. 
10 out of 10 recommend. <laughs> So you'll be seeing Rachel in a lot of videos this week. She just popped by because she's gonna film some other videos with me. So just a preface for the week to come, she will be in some of the videos. Ooh, the next thing out actually feels very, very nice. This is a scarf. So this is the Painterly Scarf. Um, it's light, airy, and a watercolor dream. It's proof that you can pay homage to the humble shamrock and still be elegant. Um, from St. Patrick's dressed up, dressed down, step in and out of style with Swim's Cult Darling Scarf. Well, this one feels very silky and nice again. This one's a little bit thicker, but it's silky, so you could do it. Well, I'm not, I don't, okay. I still don't know how to wear a scarf, so clearly that's something I need to work on. This one is very, very nice. It's very, very soft and nice, nice quality. And it's 100% polyester. The next thing I have is a candle, and it's a cute little like mason jar looking candle. This is their I Feel Lucky Clover Candle. Let's open this up. Ooh, okay. It says Field Day, Take Me to the Edge. It has a very like grassy, natural scent to it and hence the field day I guess yeah it's a wild flower collection it says set a celebratory but soothing mood with this gorgeous handmade candle based in county down amongst the wildflowers and rolling hills the team at field day make it their mission in a life to bottle the beauty of Ireland and transport people to a dreamlike walk down memory lane we especially love the gorgeous old-fashioned jam jar that this candle is housed in. Perfect for a sweet little vase for some lovely posies from the garden or maybe a bunch of shamrocks. Well, that's so cute. And I do love that you can use this jar, obviously, after you've melted the candle. Uh, it's a very, like I said, a very natural, natural scent, kind of grass-like, but I like it. And it's a good size. All right, the next thing out is this here. These are the Irish Luck Hearts. It's a fun and sweet follow-up to, I guess, February had Love Heart pins. So this would have been the March box for this year, I guess, because that's when St. Patrick's Day is. Um, these are two little bespoke beauties um, that complete the set. Um, they are lapel pins that help you send sentiments of luck to the universe. So one says, I'm gonna mispronounce this, but it says Pog Me, which is Kiss Me. And then the other one says Ortha Edhuil, which again, totally pronouncing wrong. Um, Irish is not easy to pronounce. Um, it says, good luck to you. Um, so these are really cute. You can kind of wear them on St. Patrick's Day. Now I'm prepped for next year. I'm be ready for next year's St. Patrick's Day. I'll have green so nobody can pinch me. And then last but not least, we have some tea. This is Barry's tea. Um, some choose Guinness, others choose whiskey, and still others reach for a good old cup of tea. Always delicious, always appropriate. A cup of berries is my favorite start and end to any day, even the special ones. Remember, life is like a cup of tea. It's all in how you make it. Oh, I really like that. That's really cute. And I'm super excited to get some nice tea. So that was everything in the um, March St. Patrick's Day box. Clearly we are now into June, so you'd be getting different things if you sign up now. Um, but I do think it's super fun that you get to try some different things from different countries. You guys know I love boxes like that. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. All right, so like I said at the beginning of the video, there is a giveaway in this video. Um, I have saved up a lot of more like lifestyle products from boxes that I've received that I'm not going to keep. So this is more of a lifestyle giveaway. There's not a ton of makeup in it, but it's a big box, y'all. <laughs> um, so to enter the giveaway, there will be a link down in the description box below. You do have to enter through that link in order to be entered into the giveaway. You have to be subscribed to my channel and live in the US or Canada to win. There's also an extra entry if you go over to my Subbox Lover Instagram page. So the giveaway will be open through um, Saturday, the 26th of June at midnight Eastern. I will then reach out to the winner on the 27th via email. Um, so yeah, definitely enter through the link below if you wanna win. Again, it's like a fun like lifestyle type of um, giveaway. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. So definitely let me know your thoughts on all of the boxes. I thought it was a fun mix of stuff in this video today. Lots of different directions from fruit to lingerie to New England to Ireland. What a fun journey we've been on this Sunday. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I will see you in my next video.